What's up everybody, Takedown here. Welcome back to my channel. Today marks one year since we lost Chester Bennington. Chester was, in my opinion, one of the best vocalists in the world, and Linkin Park is one of my favorite bands of all time. And whenever he passed away, it really affected me, as it did a lot of fans. The reason it affected me is because back in the day, I'm not like this anymore, but I did have a lot of problems with mental health. I did have some suicidal thoughts back then. And instead of me going to somebody and telling people and talking to people, even though I did have a small group of people that I would talk to, I turned more towards music. And Linkin Park, with their songs and what the message that their songs brings, that really helped me through a lot of my problems. I'm sure a lot of fans felt the same way after the passing of Chester Bennington. Chester himself committed suicide one year ago today. So it was really all in shock and really ironic that the band and one of the persons that helped me through my problems, my thoughts, and my uh, mental illness back in the day was Chester Bennington and the fact that he committed suicide, which is kind of what he helped me out of. It all really hit home and it really hit hard for me. I didn't really know how to take it. As I mentioned in the video last year, I started to listen to Linkin Park complete albums every single day. It kind of helped me mentally get through the whole problem, the whole loss of Chester Bennington because I didn't really know how to take it. I didn't know, really know what to do. And I assume a lot of fans, diehard fans, fans that... Lincoln Park and Chester Bennington met a lot to probably did the same thing. I know a lot of people probably don't understand where I'm coming from when I just said that. A lot of people that are not fans do not necessarily understand. And a lot of people that have not been affected by mental illness or mental health or suicide in their family or anything like that, close friends, don't really understand that even though I didn't have a personal connection with Chester Bennington or Lincoln Park, they did really help me through it. A lot of people say that because you didn't know them personally, that they didn't really help you through anything. In reality, they did. What they said in their songs, what their songs meant, the message they were delivering, that's what really helped me through a lot of the problems. Lincoln Park was one of the top ones that really helped me through my situation. And I feel a lot of the fans probably feel the same way. After the passing of Chester Bennington, one of the other lead singers, Mike Shinoda of Linkin Park, decided to take time to reflect on himself. Uh, the other members of Linkin Park decided they did not want to pursue music at the time. They all have their own things going on. They didn't want to do music right away because of the loss of Chester Bennington. Mike Shinoda decided to take the approach and give more of his single stuff, release music under his name, Mike Shinoda, as opposed to Linkin Park, or Fort Minor because he's never released something under himself before as Mike Shinoda to kind of let the fans know what he's going through, what his thoughts are, to let people know kind of what happened leading up to their performance in honor of Chester Bennington. And to me, I think it speaks volume. I think it is amazing that Mike Shinoda can carry on like this. He says he didn't want this whole situation to affect his entire career because he's been through Linkin Park the entirety, same as Chester Bennington, and he didn't want what he's been doing to kind of stop and what Linkin Park's been doing to kind of stop because of the passing because Chester wouldn't really want that and I believe that 100%. I don't think Chester would want them to stop making the music. Um, Mike Shinoda will be releasing his own EP. I believe right now he just released another six songs recently that are going to be in it. So I think it's going to be almost a full CD. Most of the songs really talk about what he was going through at the time, different scenarios, and a whole bunch of work went into it. And he did it on his own. He states that he's sure that Linkin Park is going to get back together one day. He believes that live performances are probably going to be out of the picture because he doesn't know how he's going to be able to do live performances with Linkin Park without Chester. And I 100% agree with that. It'd be kind of awkward, and I think at times they could break down if they decide to do live performances, but that does not mean that they're going to stop Linkin Park. I believe in a couple years we might see more from them whenever they get all their thoughts together, whenever they have everything kind of figured out of what they want to do now. And I think it's a great idea that Mike Shinoda is going forward and kind of releasing music because that's kind of how he's dealing with all of the situation. 
everybody deals with the situation differently. And this is how he's dealing with the death of his best friend. So I think it's a great thing for Mike Shinoda. Honestly, this whole time, this past year, it's been difficult for somebody that dealt with mental illness before and to have somebody that gave you such inspiration through their music help you get out of your mental illness all of a sudden to learn that they have committed suicide themselves is a hard pill to swallow but it's something that I've dealt with I'm okay with it now I understand now a little bit more and I'm thankful that nothing has affected me for years now with mental illness or suicidal thoughts I'm not having anything to do with that anymore I'm feeling a lot better myself so I'm happy that I'm at that point and today is kind of just going to be listening to Linkin Park for me kind of listening remembering Chester remembering the past remembering what they did for me what the songs did for me and what Chester kind of did for me even though yes I didn't know him personally to me it was still a connection because I was connected through his music and kind of the message he was trying to bring so that's what I'm going to be doing today listening to a lot of Linkin Park listening to a lot of my favorites a lot of the stuff that really helped me out and kind of reflect on that as how I got out of my problems I had back in the day so I'm gonna leave this video here hope you guys did enjoy it was kind of a quick little video if you guys didn't see my video last year where I talk more in depth about the passing of Chester Bennington I recommend at least checking that one out but uh, I just wanted to give you a quick update of Yes, today is one year from Chester Bennington, but his legacy is not over. His legacy is going to continue on. And to me, that speaks great volumes. But I'll see you guys in the next video. Please take care. Peace.